This is DashboardSymbols.com. In this video, we will demonstrate opening and starting the new Honda Prologue and Acura ZDX EV models with a dead key fob battery and a hidden key hole. Developed with General Motors, the EVs carry a lot of GM features, including the hidden key holes, and unfortunately a very different backup start method, but we can get you in and going. Note that the alarm may sound when you unlock the car, but don't panic. It will go off when the car is started. We'll first need a mechanical key embedded in the fob. Your Honda fob looks quite similar to this. Look for the chrome button on the side. Press it and pull on the key ring end, and you have the key. As noted, a keyhole is not visible on the new Prologue or ZDX, a first for Honda Motors. There's a small cap at the rear of the driver's door handle that will have to be removed. Look for the slot under the handle as shown. Insert the car's mechanical key and turn it clockwise or to the right. We're at the New York Auto Show and did not have the correct key. The cap should have moved more than we see here, but it was still possible to slide the cap back and off. And yes, you're prying off a piece of your car, but it's okay and necessary. The keyhole is now visible, just behind the driver's door handle. Insert the key in turn, and you're in. Note now that if the alarm does not sound, or other electronics are not working, the main start battery may be dead, and yes, an EV has a 12-volt start battery, and you'll need roadside assistance, but it won't hurt to give the following a try. Here, we will use a couple of Chevrolet stand-ins, starting with a blazer. An attempt to start the car fails, and you'll see a very similar message. We'll need a spot where the key fob can be recognized. This is a new process for Honda and Acura, but still simple. The Blazer wants the fob placed in the front cup holder, but the ZDX and Prologue cup holders are side by side. Use the one closest to you. Once the fob is in place with the buttons up, start the car as normal. The car recognizes the fob and starts, which in your case will be a visible ready light, as we saw in this Chevy Volt. And you'll be on your way. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other push button or keyless start cars and key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more from us here on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel or go to dashboardsymbols.com.